on my boat, I have two networked Humminbird Solix units, one at the console and one at the bow. Beyond simply giving me access to sonar, imaging, and GPS information at both locations, I also enjoy all of the unique benefits that only a fully integrated fishing network can provide. For example, if I find promising structure with mega side imaging at the console, I can drop a waypoint on that object, and that waypoint will be shared with all of the Humminbird units on my network, including my Bow Solix and even my Helix. Another benefit of my networked Solix units is that they can share mapping data. This means that one LakeMaster chip, or even an AutoChart Zero Lines card, can provide mapping data to all of my networked Solix units. One card serves them all. So I can share waypoints, I can share mapping data, and of course, I can share sonar and imaging information across my Solix network. That means that on my BOW Solix unit, I can collect 2D sonar and mega down imaging data from the connected mega DI transducer on my Minn Kota Ultera. And I can pull mega side imaging data through the network from my console unit. This is easy to set up using the sonar source submenu. On your Solix, press the power key and then select sonar followed by sonar source. Now, Pick the sources for each sonar and imaging technique to be displayed on that unit. Sharing sonar and imaging data across the one boat network opens up a world of possibilities. One thing it allows me to do with extreme precision is follow a brake line. For example, on my console Solix, I can draw 2D sonar data from the connected transducer on my transom and pull down imaging data from my bow unit. By doing so, it's easy for me to keep the bow of the boat in the shallow water on top of the brake, and the stern of the boat in the deeper water at the base of the brake, so I can target fish at any depth. Humminbird fish finders play a central role in any one boat network, and my networked Solix units help me to find and catch more fish on every trip.